Hello my friends, today another video in English and we will try to do something special today. Like you see, I'm looking for Milwaukee Packout, Packouts and here it is, one of, one of them. And on the top, on the white plastic, you, you have uh, many of these small little pieces of plastic and it's not very strong. So you shouldn't put feet on the on the top so uh, i start think uh, i start thinking about this how to improve it and this is the best place for really good tabletop yeah from uh, like mtf3 from festool something like this yeah so I starting thinking about uh, how to how to connect it to to this wooden tabletop and fingers the best place with hundreds of, of, of maybe millions of models and most of them are free so here it is no 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 on the middle and on the left the red one on on the blue background yes here it is milwaukee packout food base model so i decided to download print it test it and it's working really great it's uh there 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 are not loose at all and the model is very simple so, I'm download it for, and we we will do a little modification, because actually now, even you have this model, you cannot connect it uh, to other other material, yeah, because there is no uh, any holes, any connectors. So, I decided to edit it in SketchUp Pro so uh, I can import STL files uh, without any problems like you see there are mm, a bit mess with these extra lines is they are not needed so I will spend a couple minutes just to clean it up you you don't have to do this but I like I like uh, clean models so couple minutes later will be will be done on the top I will draw uh, I will draw uh, some extra line just for you know guideline uh, temporary line to to place two holes yeah for for screws maybe maybe here maybe here no, no. In the middle is a bad idea because uh, you have chamber edge on the front. So, okay, here it is. First line and and the next center line. And now we can find the the best place for two screws. Mm, Twenty millimeters on the left. Uh, I think it's two and on the right but like you see on the bottom uh, is a bit too close to the edges so maybe 15 yeah it's okay and now we can draw just a circle uh, I will use screws um, four millimeter so the radius should be two yeah. Come on, Yarek. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm checking the dimension of the screws now, but two millimeter is is okay. Okay, two millimeters uh, here here, and we can punch it uh, or push pull uh, to the bottom. But 
we need to hide the uh, hide hide the heads of the screws. And I think the easiest way will be just a chamfer at the chamfer. Um, it's like you see the thread corner plug-in offset three millimeters should be enough for sure because uh, the head uh, of the screw is about eight millimeters, so it will be enough for sure. Okay, so here and another jumper here and voila yeah the model is ready it's so simple you like you see uh, i spent here just uh, five minutes maybe maximum and after i finish of this uh, all the cleanup uh, i will export it um, to ST stl again i'm using uh, kiss slicer or simplify 3d uh, slicer and we will print it on maybe this time on ender 3 pro should be fun
because the white plastic on the top has a lot of this uh, little plastics here and you must be careful you you shouldn't put fit here so that's why this plywood tabletop will help you you see now you can you can jump on it you can use it as a chair no problem at all uh, it's quite thick plywood it's about uh, 25 or 26 millimeter millimeters so it's very very strong and voila so in this chapter you see you you just see that uh, 3d printer even uh, at a workshop can be very very useful of course you need to know how to use it and you, you need to know some programs but then you, you your life will be much easier okay so link for this connector connectors will be under descriptions and see you next time bye bye thank you Thank you.